All right, everybody. All right, welcome. We are talking about Gemini 1.5 Pro in 10 minutes or less. Uh, away we go. So uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro, real quick, it, this has been out since February, but they just made it available for the public through the public interface. So while programmers have had access to this, you haven't had access to it until now if you're using the public you know, interface that everybody goes through. So that's why we're doing this now. So let's talk about prompting. That's how you get stuff out of these large language models. And I'm gonna give you three steps to success. Um, you need to be able to tell the large language model who, who do you need, why, why do you need this, and what, what do you want. Remember those three things and you'll be just fine. Now, there are more complicated and more involved ways to get better prompts, but this will get you started. All right, so here we have an example. So we have the who, you are an expert in project management. We have the what, uh, the what or rather the why, uh, why we are working on a project to build a house in Texas. And then we have the what, give me a project plan to get, to get the land and other resources, then build the house. So we've got the who, the why, and the what. And so we're gonna run that real quick. Let me show you what that looks like. Pretty straightforward. Go ahead and grab that prompt, stick it in here, and away we go. And the LLM will proceed to give us a nice project plan for Texas home construction based on its knowledge of Texas real estate. All right, there it goes. Look, nice little table, and I can even export that to Google Sheets if I want to. Pretty sick, huh? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Let's go ahead and move on. Next thing. Here's another example. We've got the who, you are an expert in algebra, the why, I need to learn about polynomials for class, and the what, teach me step by step about polynomials like you're teaching me in a classroom. So who, why, and what. So uh, let's go ahead and try that. I always like to start with a new chat when I'm doing these uh, fresh, just so other chats don't interfere with what I've got going on. And so I'm gonna go ahead and come on over here and put that in and it should begin teaching us all about polynomials so we can get into our polynomials and there we go yay welcome to polynomials okay i'm gonna stop that so um you get the idea then you give it the who the why and the what and you're going to be in business and remember those three things and you should be fine now now would be a good time to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. If you would, please, I would greatly appreciate it. The channel's growing, and we really want to get the word out about AI. Any little bit you can do helps the channel. Thank you so much. Moving on, let's talk about summarizing documents. That's right. You can, in fact, summarize documents. Now, here's your steps to success. Let Jim and I do the reading for you. Give it a document, let it read it for you, and be very clear about what you want, right? The what side of that equation. So let's do an example. So um, I've got a business plan that comes from the University of Oklahoma, I think OSU, Oklahoma State University. Uh, it's just a mock business plan. And I'm going to have Jim and I look at this mock business plan. So here we go. I'm going to start a new chat. I'm going to click and drag the business plan into, uh, I don't know if it's going to let me click and drag. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, we're good. It's going to give me a thing that says view and delete uploaded files. You can review uploaded files and images in your pinned and recent chats. You can delete prompts, which also deletes files added to those prompts. Very nice. I'm going to click on close. Um, all right, so I've got the uh, PDF here. Now I'm going to give it our prompt to look at the business plan and give me its opinion. So here we go. Let me grab that. And away we go. All right, you're an expert in Oklahoma law and business plans. Give me a three-sentence summary of this business plan with five bullet points on the major items in it. Then tell me if the business plan looks solid. And away it goes. So it's going to read the business plan and immediately get into, okay, well, this is Fancy Foods. It's a new business. It's going to focus on production and sale of flavored whipped cream toppings. Major items, four flavors of whipped cream. Very nice. The business plan appears to be solid. It includes a detailed description of everything. So yay, uh, looks like we got the seal of approval. Very nice, very, very nice. It's that easy. Just click and drag a document and then ask whatever questions you want. And we can continue asking questions like uh, what is the projected um, profit? And, you know, and it might be able to extrapolate that out. Um, so there's all kinds of things you can do. 
year income, 1999, 2000, 2001. It's an older business plan in case you haven't noticed. All right, let's move on. Okay, results formatting. So yes, you are going to want the results in a particular format. Let's address that. So you do not have to settle for the format chosen by the large language model, um, by Gemini. You can ask for the format that you would like. So don't be shy about asking for what you want. It's in the what. So here you can see you are an expert in project management. Who, uh, the why, we're working on buying a house in Texas. And now in the what, we extend it out. The what is give me a project plan to get the land and other resources then build a house. Give me the plan with the best guess projected dates and milestones beginning from today. So I'm asking it to do this for me in this particular way. And that's all you've got to do. All you got to do is ask for it to do that. So now we're going to go back. We're going to put this in and away it goes. Now you'll see it's a different output than what we did when we first started. Now it's going to do milestones. So it's going to do project title, project start date, phases and milestones. Phase one, boom, boom, boom. On we go, phase two. See there? I'll go ahead and stop it, but you get the idea. So absolutely ask for what you want from the model. Here's another one. You're an expert teacher in algebra. I need to learn about polynomials. Teach me step by step about polynomials like you're teaching me in a classroom, but ask the questions like a pirate. So you do not have to accept the default way that it does things. So here, we're going to have it ask us questions like a pirate. And if you can imagine it, you can probably get it from the LLM. So here we go. Now we're going to see this one's different. Ahoy matey, welcome aboard the algebra ship. Da -da 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 there you go. All right. Very nice. Hopefully you dig on that. So don't be shy about asking. Here we go. Now, Gemini 1.5 Pro getting the results. Well, okay. Well, now that we've it's spit the results out, what now? Well, now uh, we're going to talk about copying and pasting. So you can copy the results and paste anywhere you want. That's pretty cool. So let's talk about that real quick. So here we're just going to do the you're an expert in project management, do the milestones again. Actually, we just did that, so I'm just going to run with that. So uh, whenever you want to uh, grab your results, and actually I just need to let it finish there. All right, we'll let this, we'll do the math one. We'll say we want to get these results. So we'll let it uh, finish up here and it runs through. It gives us some really cool stuff. And then once it's done giving us some cool stuff, uh, now what we can do is we can get in here and we can do a variety of things. So you see here at the very bottom, there's a good response, bad response, some other good stuff. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to say more and click on copy. See this? More and copy. And now I can copy and paste this anywhere I want. That's one way to approach it. Now there is another. There's a button here, share and export. You can export this to Google Docs or draft in Gmail. That's right. You can export it to Docs or Gmail. I'm going to export it to Docs real quick. It will create the document. And documents created. I can click on open Docs. And there it is. Ta-da. Pretty cool, huh? So don't be, you know, check these two out. You're going to want the share and export, which, by the way, you could also share it with other people if you want, uh, or copy and paste, depending on how you want to approach it. Now there's more. Maybe for whatever reason, you want this in plain text, so it's easier to copy and paste. Not a problem. Just ask for the results in a text code block without markdown. So it formats using something called markdown, and then copy and paste your results. So I'm going to show you an example of that. Here's demo putting it into plain text. So let's do that real quick. And away we go. Gonna hop into Gemini, new chat. And so notice I lead with do not use any markdown formatting. Then I do the project management thing. And then at the end I say put the results into a text code block and watch what it does. It'll actually take the results and put them into a text code block. Very, very cool. All right, I'll stop that. Continuing on. Creating images. So very, very cool. Creating images is awesome. You're going to love it. Get an image in mind and give as much detail as you can if you want to create an image. More detail is better. Here's an example of an image that we can create using this. Uh, so I'm going to grab this. It's an image of a white tiger surfing in Hawaii. And so we'll do this and we'll do that. Um, be careful. When you say give me an image, sometimes it'll go fetch from the internet. So you may want to say create an image. It just really depends here. It's clearly generating images, so I'm not worried about it. And there we go, white tiger surfing. Pretty cool, huh? 
And that is that, boys and girls. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.